吧。Welcome to Growing Up Guide Pup. Over the last couple of weeks, we've shown you some of the things that Pilaf does well and some of the things we're working on. Well, this week we're going to talk to you about basic commands. As Pilaf's puppy raisers, one of our big jobs is not only to teach her how to behave at home and in public, but some basic obedience commands as well. Right now, while we're working with Pilaf, we have no distractions out. She's away from the other dogs, we're in a nice quiet area, so she can focus just on me. While she's learning these new commands, I want her to be free of distractions so she's able to process everything, and as she gets older, we'll start throwing some distractions in with her. At 16 weeks old, Pilaf has already shown that she is really smart and is learning her basic commands really well. We've been working on her sit command. She knows how to down on command. She's also working on her stay. She comes when she's called. She's also very comfortable in her kennel. I can tell her to kennel and she'll walk right into her kennel and relax when I close the door. And she waits patiently for me to put her leash back on her even though the door is open when it's time for her to come back out. Pilaf's That's Enough command will come in great importance as we integrate her in with the other dogs. Enough. She already knows that she needs to drop her toy and sit patiently until I tell her it's okay to play again. If you've watched previous episodes, you know we're having a little bit of trouble keeping her under control while she's with our other dogs, Ricky and Eli. So when she learns her that's enough command, we can start integrating her in with them. And if she starts getting out of hand, we can throw that command at her and hopefully she'll respond by stopping what she's doing and waiting for a different command so she's refocused and not getting out of hand. We're really happy how well Pilaf is progressing with her basic commands, and she's learning things really quickly, so hopefully soon we'll be able to start throwing some distractions at her, and we'll keep you guys posted on how she's progressing. So stay tuned, and we'll see you next time on Growing Up Guide Pup.